Welcome back to Nebuchadnezzar, episode seven, part two of this mission. And as we left off last time, uh, we just got our first trade going. So we're starting to bring in some money and I'm going to want to build a monument and I'm thinking that uh, I'm probably going to want to build it in the middle here. So in order to do that, we're going to need to support it with some clay mines and, and get the clay uh, delivered to these uh, brickworks and make some bricks for this monument. So I'm going to put in some clay mines over here. And then we'll we'll be able to um, to get some bricks started to be made. So we'll do um, the four and the three again. I think that's probably a decent ratio. Um, we can probably get some more workers in those buildings as well. Uh, we just want to make sure we're not storing any clay over there. But uh, so we can build a warehouse for our bricks. And then we'll get the bricks uh, shipped to that warehouse directly from the brickworks. And we'll take off, uh, we'll make sure we take off everything else. Oh, it looks like a milk stick stuck, got that gas snuck in over there. Um, we don't want any milk there, let's get rid of that milk. All right, so now we got bricks starting to come in, so that's good. And we're also going to want uh, to ship them out over to this area uh, sooner or later. Um, we're gonna need to, we're gonna wanna bring them in there and then we don't wanna fill it all the way with bricks or all the way with, uh, with pottery. So we'll just do half and half for now. There we go. All right, so now we can bring uh, bricks over to that uh, area as soon as we have um, somebody set up to do that but since we don't we're just bringing uh, leaving the bricks there in the warehouse for now let's get rid of these um these those are gonna look nice let's get rid of these information helpers we don't need those we've already kind of looked through that all right so uh let's build Let's take a look at uh, this. Um, so we have, uh, we're gonna need 30 bricks in order to send to them. And right now we have uh, 21. So we're pretty close to, to being able to initiate trade with that city. So let's take a look here. Let's do an assessment. If we get another bakery over here, we should be able to uh, to make some more bread, and that'll be good because we we need a few more bread going into that warehouse by the market in order to to keep production rolling there and uh, make sure our uh, population's not devolving into a lower state house. So. What I'll do is I'll just build a couple of, uh, of bread makers over there, so that we can get um, we can get the wheat over into those, and then they can start making a whole bunch of bread, and then we should be able to have a ton of bread because we got look at all that the wheat in that one warehouse. We got tons of wheat, so now we have a bunch of bricks uh, stored up. So we got 36, and now we can go ahead and we can send those 30 off, and we can start. Uh, actually exporting these uh, if we want to uh, for right now though I, I think I what I want to do is I want to build a monument because it gives us 40 prestige and over in this area here is where I want to build the elite housing because um, there's no no pollution and they don't like pollution so I'm, I'm thinking somewhere in that area is well where, where we're ultimately going to build the elite housing and over in this area we can get the dates going and then also um, the fish uh, from the river and then we should be able to service the elite population over there pretty well so 
let's uh, let's build a temple, and this time uh, let's let's do a custom one. Yeah. So let's um, should be able to build it in this area here, close to the uh, to the citizenry, and that, that looks pretty good right there. I like that. All right, so let's build our warehouse, and we'll put it right next to the other warehouse, so we shouldn't have any time frame issues. Uh, with bricks going from one place to another and that that should be really good so we just need um, somebody to bring them over there uh, from the warehouse uh, directly to the other warehouse so if we set up a caravan we should be able to start uh, just bringing them from the one uh, warehouse to the other warehouse So let's set up the bricks and we'll set up our route here to go from that to there. Now we don't necessarily want them to return back to the caravan place so we'll just we'll just do it a whole bunch of times there back and forth and then that caravan should really start um, start moving those bricks. That's a ton of them. Look at that. Yep. So he is uh, he's left and he already moved in a good amount of bricks into our uh, monument area so let's go with the with this with the top style and uh, we'll make this one gold this these things gold so we can start uh, laying the foundation here of our first level uh, of this monument we have 40 bricks in so we should be able to get um, quite a bit of it there we go all right, so now we can build um, a few more sections. So let's uh, go ahead and just start placing it. And we've run out of bricks. So as you can see, it takes a lot of bricks to do it. So I'm going to speed up time here and just, uh, just start rolling on this. Uh, this is going to take some time you know what let's just let the bricks pile up let's stack it up and then let's go over here and focus in on uh, our economy and what we've got going here it looks like we're doing pretty good uh, except for pottery so pottery we don't quite have enough pottery made in order to um, to service our population completely fully so and we have um, six in stock right now which is not much so let's go ahead and put some more workers over here because we've got clay stored up in those so we should uh, be able to to get a ton of more pottery being made now and as for the brickworks, we got tons of clay there, so let's put in more workers over here to make some more bricks as well. And we'll put in all these workers here. So they should be making, we should be making a lot of bricks now uh, in order to, to make this temple go a little bit quicker. So let's take a look at our, uh, economy here and now we've got uh looks like 40 we can have of pottery and we've got tons of of, of, of clay uh, we need a little bit more clay though in order to support what we just did with the workers on the production side so if we if we put in another uh there's a few workers in here on the clay mines then that should be able to match what we have in terms of our production and there we go 81 and 81 that's that's a perfect match that's exactly uh what we're looking for and we're fine on bread we're fine on wheat uh we're looking good on pottery now and bricks we've got you know we're making uh we're making 40 of them so that's really good so now we can start building some more of this monument
You know, it's what it's interesting because in the other uh, games long ago, there were there was a time you know you had actually uh, a date that was associated with it, but here they don't actually show the date. So although there might be a, a date that's rolling, and obviously time is rolling, it's not showing you the year that you're in. It just says you have the, the, the period between, uh, you know, this one is between 3100 and 2900 BC. So, you know, it's, it's one of those interesting things where I just re realized that I had the, the audio playing in the background here while I was doing this, so I normally turn it off, but this time I didn't. So I apologize for the first almost 11 minutes of this video that you heard uh, some background music there, uh, which was basically hopefully mirroring the, the, the video. But uh, anyway, I was, as I was saying, maybe they did it on purpose because, you know... It's interesting because if you went lo really long, you'd go past the 2900 BC and then you'd be out of that era. So I think maybe they did that on purpose just to, to give you the, you know, the perception that you were in that time frame. Even if you ran over the time frame, you wouldn't know. So here, I'm gonna build another port over here um, just to you know, ultimately speed up trade uh, once we have uh, everything going. So. Uh, for the for that uh, for that one, I can uh, just make sure we have you know the um, the pottery, and then ultimately we're gonna we're gonna be selling wheat. So I'm just gonna leave wheat there. Anyway, so we we have our monument rolling. We've got um, pottery uh, going very nicely. We've got bread going very nicely. Uh, we have a full complement of our housing up there with 3,008 people. Uh, so we still have 21% unemployment, so we're going to be able to to even support uh, some more uh, more industry. But here's our bread looking good, milk is looking good, and pottery is looking good. So we are um, we are stable. Let's put it that way. We are stable over there, and that is a really good thing to be. Uh, because we don't want to be messing around with uh, shortages of workers and so forth because that uh, all that's going to do is just uh, bring this whole thing to a standstill until we we repair it. We've been through that before. We don't want to go through that again. So we've made a nice stable city here of about 3,000 people and all of our people are working. Uh, we have uh, no, hardly any clay that's stored up, so that's really good. Um, and then as soon as we, we have clay, we, we basically just push it out to these guys, and they're, they got full complement of, um, of clay for their pottery. Uh, same thing over here, we've got clay stored there. Um, and let's take a look at, yep, we have clay all full there. We got clay full there. Yeah, so you know what we could do? We could build some more brickworks because we're gonna need tons of bricks. So let's build some more brickworks here and then uh, that should uh, get the clay out from those, uh, those mines. That one doesn't have any. Um, and that one doesn't have any either. Uh, but that one has a little bit. Uh, but now we've got full clay that's over in our new brickworks. So we're gonna be um, pushing out even more bricks and those bricks are going directly to the monument right now. So let's see how many bricks we got up to. We got up to, uh, the, we have, um, looks like we have 90 consumption uh, and 81 clay. So um, we're gonna need a little bit more clay if we want to, but these guys have full clay. I. I don't think we're really lacking that much clay um, overall. So uh, we don't really have any place that doesn't have clay. So uh, as of this point, I don't know if we need, even need to touch it. It's just good to check those things though to make sure that uh, we're doing okay. So let's put in some more of the monument here. We got up to like 80 some odd bricks uh, now. So 
uh, we have uh, we have to do a, a minimum area of, uh, of 48 so we're increasing that now we've got a minimum we got an area now of, of 20 and we need to get up to 48 uh, these guys uh, Eric wants 21 bricks uh, we don't have any bricks <laughs> because we're using it all for the monument um, but they so they can wait wait for a little while while we um, get some bricks into uh, into storage now I'll show you uh, how you can do that fairly quickly since this guy this caravan is taking it from this warehouse we'll just turn that off and then the bricks will just get stored there you see the question is whether or not I can bring it back from the monument uh, but there's there's no no chance because there's no way to tell it to go out from that so um, that green arrow is kind of worthless we'll just, we'll just uh, for now because we don't have any other storage facility that we have a caravan coming from in order to deliver it but um, see we're going to be able to export bricks to them and uh, here's our request so uh, it's it's we're making a lot of bricks very quickly so i'm just gonna hang out here and just get to 21 and then we'll go ahead and just send that request off and then there we are all right so we we got the request off to them and now we can go ahead and we can start um, sending the bricks back over to the um, to the warehouse for the monument and we can continue uh with our our monument so second layer we can change the color and go to a green and then we can start uh, laying the bricks there for the second level notice that we're going to need to have a, a, a height of five for this one so yeah this one's going to be a bigger a bigger one than last time uh, for sure so the number of parts i think is also higher than last time as well we need 120 uh, parts but uh, as a minimum so we're gonna need to uh, to increase uh, our area but let's uh, let's just go ahead and see how much how high we can actually get here I think we're gonna be able to get to to four levels just with this little little footprint here so um, yeah right there will be our uh, will be our other one so we'll just let some more bricks get into that so how are we doing over here with our with our ports so here comes the ship uh, let's see if he takes that pot uh, the pottery there um, yep pottery's gone so uh, here's so we're gonna build our fishing piers over here for the villas um, and we're gonna we're gonna get these these things rolling because uh, we want to make sure that the fishing piers are as far away from the city as possible because they do provide pollution and we do not want that to happen so we'll see if, if three uh, fishing uh, is enough to support the population there and we'll go ahead and connect these roads up and then we'll bring this road over uh, to a to a warehouse and uh, not exactly sure how far this warehouse can be I can't imagine it's gonna reach um, that it can reach that far uh, with the warehouse but you see the pollution is, is, has gone out quite a bit already so if we put a warehouse in that those that warehouse uh, We'll, we'll, we'll get uh, fish into that warehouse and uh, ultimately also dates uh, so we're gonna have a date farm over there and we're gonna see how much fish uh, they can actually um, bring in and transport over to that uh, that warehouse you know what doesn't look like they're bringing it to the warehouse do I have a road problem here hmm. Well, I've got fish set up and dates. I kind of want to go half and half, just like we do with the, um, you know, with the distribution of it, to make sure we get enough. But these guys have seven fish and they're not delivering it. Um, 
what is the problem here? You know what? I think I might have... I'm not sure. The roads... Do I need to connect it better? Let's see. And they're still not bringing it. What if I connect... You know, I, I don't want to, I don't even want to mess with that down there. So, no thanks. I got to figure this out. What is going on? Let's see. What is his range? Ah, that's the problem. The warehouse isn't blue. So, it is not, it's not being delivered there because it, the warehouse is not in the range of that fishing pier. We got to get rid of it. And we got to build that warehouse closer. All right, let's make sure we build it close enough so that uh, so that everybody can get serviced. Let's just get it closer here. We need one more. Let's let's delete that road and let's build the warehouse. All right. Now we've got now we've got all three within range. Now they're starting to bring in the fish. Okay. Well, let's do the same thing here. Let's bring the, the dates and the fish to 20, turn off everything else, and this will be our uh, warehouse that we have all the food stored up for the elites. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here and take a look what the plan is gonna be. We are gonna need to get some dates. So we wanna have it Con, uh, close enough to the warehouse in order to be able to just to put a road directly to it uh, we also need to have tons of fertile ground here for dates so uh, that area looks pretty good and then let's go ahead and let's build our our, our date date farm here all right we're just going to maximize this as much as we possibly can it looks like we can get in 50 54, 60, yeah, I think it's 54. Yes. So that's really good. We can, we'll be able to, um, to service them out. We'll build a, build a road right there and then we'll just build our dates um, over to the left, over to the right of that. And we'll put some more dates in up here. All right. Looks good. And then we'll build a road directly to that warehouse. And then we should be able to put in one more worker here. And let's see how many fields he's got. Looks like 18, yeah. So that's good. So now we have our date production uh, set up and what we're going to need to do is um, you notice the pot the pollution just goes way out there so we're not going to we're going to build it like that's about as close as we can get uh, to make sure that we're not running into pollution problems with the elites so uh, I figure we should probably just build it out from the, the roads from from where uh, you know from where they are uh, over there by the other houses and then just tack on like an area and then right about there and start the roads out to the elites so let's just um, let's figure this out here so if we build it out there then we should have uh, some room. Now these, these villas aren't just a standard two by two, they're actually a two by three. So you'll see there's, there's uh, three, three sections in there, uh, three spaces and there's two. So we're gonna have to, to count over. There's a, uh, There's one there, and then we'll put the road out there in order for them uh, to be able to go on that side of it as well. 
and then we'll have a space in the middle for the decorations and then we'll build out the road even further. So we'll go all the way out and then we'll push that over and then let's see how many we've got here. So we got uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 12, 14, 16. All right, uh, looks like we can't build a road that far over there. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, they don't, doesn't like, doesn't like those tiles for roads. So, you know what, we'll just, uh, we'll count two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, and then we'll build a road down. All right, so that should take care of 14 uh, villas right there. Standard villas, we should be able to build 14 within that area. And um, that'll be way outside the pollution. Uh, I don't even wanna get close to the other pollution, so let's just build out from there. Um, we'll build it on this side as well. So we're gonna put in another Try, we'll just mirror it, put it in our 14 or so. So let's build out the roads. All right. And let's make sure we have enough space and let's build it over. There we go. Now I did a little bit more there because we're going to need um, 32. So take a look at what I did here. So I just rotated it so that we can get those to fit in there. And um, let's go ahead and just take a look at them when they come down. And we'll just drag it. There we go. So we got nine on each row there. So that's going to be 18 plus the 14 here. So that'll bring us to 32. Those will be our 32 villas. And as you can see, they don't look so great right now because there's nobody in them. And, well, we're going to need to bring uh, population to them. So, of course, in order to do that, we're going to need to have a warehouse that's uh, close by to the market. So we'll go ahead and we'll build a warehouse that's going to be basically right next to the market. That's going to service them. And then uh, we'll make sure that we have a, a caravan that's uh, basically taking the um, taking the, the fish and the, uh, the dates to the other warehouse. So we'll build a road from that warehouse and connect it so that it can go to the other warehouse and then we'll set up our caravan uh, in order to be able to do that. So um, we want to make sure the caravan can get to, to the, the warehouse as well. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to have one person take fish. And they're going to take it from that warehouse to that warehouse. And in this warehouse, we're going to set it up to just to take in uh to take in the fish and the dates. And we'll go, you know, half and half, make sure we have enough for both. All right. And we're gonna also uh, make sure that we get the, take the dates and the fish out of that warehouse so that they can be um, transported. Now we're gonna set up our date hauler, our date caravan, and we'll just copy that route. And there goes the dates, and there goes the fish. All right, so the dates and fish are gonna go, so we gotta get a standard market, which puts out dates and fish, and there's the market. We're gonna go ahead and set up our sellers, one for dates, She can go all the way over and then there and then all the way down. There we go. 
and then that should do it. That'll take care of uh, the entire 32 uh, of those. Now we're gonna need also another one for the fish. And we'll just copy that route there from the other one. Boom. And now we're gonna be delivering both fish and uh, dates to those houses. The They're not gonna be able to go to Standard Villa right now because the appeal isn't high enough. Each of those need an appeal rating of six. So I'm gonna have to to actually start beautifying that area. And that's the reason why I left that little space between them. So let's just see if I build a whole bunch of these, let's see how much the, the appeal goes up, 3.44. Well, that's not gonna be enough, obviously. So what I'm gonna need to do is build one of these steels and then that will actually raise the, um, the appeal up to five. So once again, not quite high enough. So we're gonna need to put in another steel. And then when we do that, it goes up to 6.56. So as soon as that one gets serviced, we will be able to, uh, to bring that to Standard Villa. And you'll notice we already got one. One came in. So uh, we're starting to run out of appeal as we go further away. So we're gonna need to set up um, more steels One thing that's that these steels are are expensive. <laughs> They're 250 per. So uh, I'm down to like 1,500 coins. If I spend all my money, I'm not going to be able to do much anything else except to to beautify these. But you can see they're already starting to go up to standard villas in that area because the uh, appeal is so high. Uh, what I really need is more money. So let's take a look at our economy here. And the fish is not going to quite be enough. And neither are the dates. Great. So we're going to be short on both of those. And as you can see, we've got people that are, that are leaving probably because of that. Everything else is, is looking okay for now. So I don't think that we have a problem over here in this area. So I'm going to need to figure out what we're experiencing here and uh, I'll fix it or I'll come back and we'll fix it together. See you next